Who are you? What is your identity? What voices are you listening to? Let me explain. Do you ever find yourself thinking, I'm such a loser, I'm a fraud, I'm a failure, I'm so stupid, I can't do this. Do you ever look at other people and think, they are so much better than me? And do you ever look in the mirror and think, I am so ugly? Let me ask you, do you think that's the voice of the Lord Almighty talking? Or is that the voice of something or someone else? Listen closely to what the Word of God says about you and your identity. It says that you belong to Him. That you are a child of the King, a disciple of the King. It says that you can approach Him in freedom and confidence. You have access to His throne. In fact, you are seated next to Him. The Word of God says that you are made righteous through Him and that you are loved by Him. Do you understand that? The Sovereign King accepts you. You are befriended by Him, chosen by Him, completed by Him. You are united with Him and you are His child. Because of that, you can spend eternity in His presence. Do you understand the fullness of that? You have been given everything by Him. The Word says you are healed by Him, you're hidden in Him, defended by Him and guided by His Holy Presence. You are one with the Creator of all things. You are one with the Almighty God. You are one with Him. You're established and anointed by Him. You are His workmanship and He cherishes you. Listen to this. You have been given a spirit, not of fear, but of power and boldness and a sound mind. You cannot be separated from his love, which goes on and on and on. You are saved and sealed by him, sanctified and justified by him. You are redeemed, you are cleansed. You can live in peace and freedom, knowing that you are living in the grace of God, which he freely pours over your life. You can live in confidence, knowing that you were bought with his blood. You were buried and baptised into his death and you've been raised up by him into his new life. You are made alive by the King. So don't cheat us out of your contribution. By living a life that is based on unhealthy self perspective Give us what you've got. Give us this new creation you are in Christ. Show us your true identity. Thank you.